We just climbed the Grey Range on the way to Nokandra from Zagaminda and there's quite nice scenery up here and millions of flies. The main road through to Nokandra from Zagaminda is single lane bitumen but the edges are quite good. There are a few um, wide sections on the road here to Nokandra Pub but mostly it's single lane. We're at the turn-off to the Nokandra pub. It's 20 kilometres from here. Well, we finally made the Nokandra Hotel. We're going to go down and, uh, and show you the camping area, and then we'll have a beer in the pub and some lunch, and then we'll head back. And it's built out of local stone, as you can see. The doors were built very uh, small because people were smaller, shorter in those days. But they're very welcoming, the owners, and we're going inside for a drink. The free camping area is right opposite the Nakondra pub and right beside the Wilson River here. There's nobody here at the moment, it's uh, very hot, 37, 38 degrees, middle of April and many, many flies. We're inside the old Nakandra Hotel, it was built in 1882. Denise has uh, joined a couple of others at the bar and I'm about to join up. The feature of the dining room is the fireplace and of course the low doorways for the smaller people in those days. The dining room is surrounded by old photos. We've returned back to Thargaminda from Nakandra pub and the noise you can hear in the background is uh, drilling for the new town artesian bore. It's sunset and we're outside the caravan park, Explorers Caravan Park and this is the view you get at sunset. <laughs> So if you've enjoyed this short video, buy a copy of Caravan World, read our full story on the Nokandra pup. Bye.